this simulation project we want to look at the yearly energy consumption of a multifamily house and compare the results with those of a set of retrofit, retrofit strategy. After having imported the plan of the site, we now insert the building volume. And after importing the, plan, the floor plan, we can then insert the zone inside the building volume. We start with a staircase and define the zone height of this zone to roof. So that will be one zone reaching the roof of the building. We then insert all other zones in the same way, giving the windows and all shading objects as neighbored buildings and balconies. and show both in the same view. In addition to that, you can see that also the balconies are planned to get placed in the retrofit case. But let's look at the results. For this, uh, we visualize the maximum heat power per square meter. And we cut the building to see better the results. Let's also look at the monthly energy report of the retrofit case now. And as you can see, there is a quite a short heating season from December to February. And you can also see in pink the heat, re the, the heat recovered, saving most of energy. That's one more differences between the cases and the renovated cases, we do have a heat recovery. We can also have a look at the monthly heat balance of the whole building, marking all zones. And we can see that the internal loads are the biggest part of the values above zero, representing the heat inserted to the building and the envelope and thermal bridge losses represented in brown are one of the biggest part of the values below zero representing the heat leaving the building. Let's compare then the results uh, of the yearly sum of these uh, reports. First of all the energy Overall energy consumption, you can see that in a retrofit case we have this heat recovery part. And for the building balance, where you can see uh, the big differences in heat losses and therefore also big differences in heat demand, of course.